Hey guys, welcome back to another video from Rigar Australia. Today we're talking you through this EasyGo TXT here. Now this looks much like any EasyGo TXT you may have seen before, but there's something very unique about it. What we've done, we've converted this uh, 36 volt EasyGo TXT PDS, we've converted it to 48 volt. So you can see on this, on this gauge here, showing 52.7 volt with a lithium battery. And we've done that by replacing the PDS controller with an Avitas 440 amp controller and an upgraded solenoid. That's allowed us to fit these Lithium Golf 51.2 volt batteries. Obviously, this is a huge increase in performance. So standard, the 36 volt TXT is not really a, a slow golf cart, but it's also uh, not really uh, able to compete with the later 48 volt models typically with this Navitas 440 amp controller this is easily able to outrun a say a club car precedent or a uh, or a, even an easy go RXV um, the Navitas 440 amp controller gives you the ability to control uh, the performance via your mobile phone so we've pumped up the performance here and it's enabled us to to obviously increase the performance uh, to a level consistent with with newer golf carts um, now it does still use the standard braking and and suspension components so it's probably in all honesty a bit overpowered so we wouldn't recommend really maximizing or maxing out the performance settings maybe just set it to a, something a bit more uh, reasonable and easy to control uh, but yeah we just wanted to show you what you can do with the easygo txt we've also converted the charger uh, to onboard so the charger now is mounted on board the vehicle and we've replaced the standard receptacle with this right here all of these upgrades are available online and it's relatively easy to install we'd definitely recommend a professional but it's not too difficult to do all you need is the uh, Navitas 440 amp controller the uh, wiring harness suitable for the PDS model of the TXT in this case and also an upgraded solenoid and obviously you'd need to replace your battery bank from 36 to 48 volt in order to get the 48 volt um, the controller will support 36 volt so in theory you could upgrade your controller with the 36 volt batteries which would give you uh, much more control over the performance of the vehicle but obviously going to 48 volt uh, from 36 volt is probably going to give you uh, the biggest performance increase. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Rigaraustralia.com.au